Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. So first let me say congratulations Katie Holmes. I'm glad that you're free. I'm so happy for you. So worried about you from the minute that you announced that you were getting married. Um, I have to tell you that I'm glad that you got a baby out of this. That's the most important thing. But um, this is a contract that you entered. You know, Katie? And um, when you enter into this type of contract, because marriage is a contract, but when you enter into this type of contract, <clears throat> you can't expect happiness. And I saw a lot of your videos very rehearsed. You know, I remember there were times when he was like, can I kiss you, you know, for the cameras, but he didn't quite say it that way. And you were like, of course. There were many times when they would ask him about, like, how you felt about, like, some stunt that he was doing on Mission Impossible. And he used to say things like, oh, I don't know, maybe you need to ask Kurt. And I'll tell you why. Because he didn't know you as a wife. You guys didn't have a marriage. So, it was a financial contract. I get that. I'm not mad at you. Um, but it's over. It's over. I used to think it was so funny when they had those free kitty homes. I think it was a free kitty home Facebook. That was so hilarious to me. Um, but, you know, really, really close to home. And the more I looked at you, the sadder you were getting. So, smart girl with your smart daddy and you are out. So, we're going to see what this all means. For, for you and for Tom. But let's look at you first, because I like you. And let's see what this freedom, this newfound freedom is going to mean for you as a mom, as a woman, and for your career. So, as everyone knows, I always say, God, please help me. In Jesus' name, please help me. I wish I could say I could take all credit for this, but I can't. You know, call my Howard Power and my Howard Pirates card and Jesus. So, let's look at Katie Holmes and what's going to happen now that her divorce has been announced. Let's see. I pull 10 cards. It would be nice to do this in advance, but you know, you can't pull. Oh. Can't, oh dear. Can't pull the cards. Let me see what that's about. Can't pull the cards in advance. This is what it is. So the first thing I'm getting is you entered into this contract and into this marriage with a fool's like perspective. I feel like you said to yourself, oh, how bad can it be? You know, this is, you know, I don't think you knew how miserable you were going to be. And I, don't, I also don't think you knew. Um, how long five years was going to feel like. I do feel like that there was a woman around you that um, has been supporting you and encouraging you to calculate um, this ending. There's a woman around you. I know they're giving your dad credit. It really wasn't your dad. It was a female around you. Um, intimate, intimate, close friend that knows everything, knows, knew, knows everything. No secrets are kept from them. You know, it's a best friend, BFF, best friend. At one point, you kind of didn't think you could get out, Katie. At one point, you honestly thought that you were stuck. <clears throat> and you just couldn't see the forest for the trees. And although you had all this money around you and, and the, the choice of anything that you could want in the world, in the world, um... You were, one, unhappy, and two, you didn't really think, somewhere in the back of your head, you didn't believe that you could actually get out of this marriage safely. Something in that contract is nailed shut. Something about it being nailed shut. Something about your prenup agreement or your contract with Scientology, I'm not really sure which one it is, Something about it being nailed shut, or they were going to nail you to the coffin. There's been some prior mistakes with Tom Cruise, and so they wanted to make sure that you did not do what has been done to him in the past. And if it was 
then they were going to nail you to the cross. Hmm. But you're leaving. There's not much you could do here. Um, and you're escaping, you know, knowing that you've done everything that you could. This is just... You know, anything after this would just be an existence of um, of stagnant water. It would just be stagnant. This is like the old-fashioned marriages when um, husbands and wives used to stay together for the kids, um, or they stayed together for financial reasons. Um, that that's what I'm getting. That somewhere in the back of your head, that's what you were believing. Like, you know that I'm stuck here, but you were stuck based upon some sort of contract, something that's in the contract that led you to believe in the back of your head it was psychological damage that led you to believe that you were not allowed to get out. It was like, get out or else, something like that. And you had to decide to do it regardless. And there was a female around you that helped you to realize, open up, open up that Kundalini and help you to realize, no, 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 get out, get out. And she's a spicy woman, she's a sharp tongue, uh, jokes a lot, it, it has made horrible jokes about Tom, this woman. Who's your best friend? Actually, I never really saw you around a, a, a female a lot, so be interesting to find out what you have to say in the, in the weeks and months to come. She helped you to realize that you actually have a position of advantage Particularly if you fight. Fight with all your might is what I hear this friend saying to you. Um, and that no contract is impenetrable. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but still, you sat back not really knowing what to do. Um, the first four years were horrible for you. That's what I'm getting first four years were horrible all the while thinking I, I'm, I'm just I'm stuck here maybe you're just so young I got you really young um hmm oh, I feel really bad for you Katie you're such a good girl but you went back home this card means going back home going back to people that love you going back to support going back to comfort um you chose New York as a place to carry out your divorce. Actually, you would have been much better choosing Jersey. <laughs> I just know. I got my divorce in Jersey and it just worked out to my uh, benefit financially. Um, and, um, and I wound up with uh, soul, soul custody, which was amazing. Um, your hopes and fears is your child. Your child. Um, I'm also getting, hmm, wait a second. Wait a second. This is it. You. They were trying to make you have another child. You got out for fear. Oh, oh my goodness. Hmm. You got out for fear of having another child and spending yet another five years in this horrifically horrible marriage. They were making you have another child. That's going to come out where you're like, I was just afraid that, you know, if I had another child and I might be stuck even further. They were making you have another child and then the contract would have been rewritten. Mm. Tom really wanted a boy. Uh, no, he loves Siri. Don't get me wrong. But the next one, he really wanted a boy. That's what I'm kidding. Oh, Katie, I'm so happy for you. Oh, oh my goodness, you're happy. You're happy, Katie. And I promise you, you are about to get pregnant. Uh, not through traditional methods, by the way. And I'm kind of wondering if Siri was born traditionally. Not, um, well, I'm not going to check into it because it doesn't matter. But this next baby, this is part of, something about con contract. I don't know if it's verbal and writing. But you were slated to have another child. It would have been medically induced. And this card is about pregnancy. It is about pregnancy. Um, this card is about being a couple. 
Um, and this card is about being an independent woman with all your, with all Tom's riches. <laughs> so, you know what, in a weird kind of way, I really don't think you want um, all of his money. I think legally you're being advised to get what you're slated to have. But I don't believe that you want to like rake him, you know, like take everything he's got. I just don't see that kind of fight. I also think that Tom is too embarrassed to fight. And so I feel like this is going to be a lot easier divorce than you realize. Um, and it's going to go away very smoothly because Scientology doesn't want to be brought into this and they don't want the contracts to get revealed. The damage is done for Tom Cruise. Um, they're working, his people are working on it right now um, to exercise um, any structural changes that the written contract may reveal. Um, but I promise you, I promise you he was completely blindsided and upset and that's what that card means. But um, he understands, he gets it. He gets that the brake is put on because of religion. This is a religious card. It also means put the brakes on. It's about morals and issues and all of that stuff that does separate a lot of couples. Religion will separate. Um, I feel like that they're trying to get in touch with um, Katie. They're trying to get in touch with her. They want to stop her um, um, from making this any, any worse. They're trying to get in touch with her because they just don't want this to get out of hand. If it's going to end, I feel like they're saying it's okay, just talk to us so that we could make it, you know, make the media more sympathetic to Tom is what I'm getting. That they want the media to be very sympathetic to Tom that how could Katie do this. But he actually has a bad reputation with women um, because of some supposed rumors. Um, and... It's, it's actually time to clean that up more than trying to fix this contract. It's actually time to clean up some of those rumors. But I'm not telling you what to do, Tom. I really don't care. Um, I do feel bad for you, um, but I feel more bad for how you don't take care of yourself. Instead, Scientology is taking care of you, and you're hiding behind um, the last two women that you married. You are devastatingly upset over Katie making this decision. Devastatingly upset. And you actually can't get over it. Um, you're going to appear um, once you're emotionally stable again, because you're, you really are upset. Um, but you're going to appear to be um, a little secretive now, a little quiet. Um, you're going to hide behind some male, most likely your lawyer, you're going to hide behind that person. Um, your wishes and desires are going to come true. She's not going to take you for every dime, so it is what it is. Uh, Katie, I actually wouldn't take most of the homes um, that you're entitled to, and if you do get it, sell it, please. Um, there's too much open access to some of those homes, and technically you wouldn't be safe there anyway. That's what I'm getting. Um, the, the pain, the pain of three women, Tom, uh, Cruz will never marry again. It's over. No one wants to date him. Um, but I feel like he is deciding that this is it. I'm, 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 I'm going to keep to myself. I'm going to shut down. I'm just going to be an actor and I'm never going to marry again. He might date because he does believe in love. Um, let's see you, Katie. Let's see what's going to happen to you. One year's time. One year's time. Um, Katie, you will find love. But I'm going to say it's one, one year, no, one year's time, Katie. You're going to find love. Very stable guy. He's going to understand your emotional depletion. Um, he's going to be there for you. And one year's time and ten months after that, you will be married again um, to a very, very healthy and stable accountant. Like somebody just normal, like outside of the box normal. Um, I don't think you'll ever marry another actor again. Okay, I'm past my limit. I love you all. This is Tracy Brown. No, Psychic Tracy Brown. What's today's date? I don't know. July 3rd, and it's around 